Yes, small round leaves. Yeah. Tell us about how it's used for uh, women's medicine. Over his 50-year career, Montana State University plant pathologist Gary Strobel has traveled to all seven continents, collecting samples from remote, sometimes dangerous places. Ah, this should be good. It's got nice fleshy tissue. We found a fungus that makes taxol, first billion dollar anti-cancer drug, fungi that make new antibiotics. With support from the National Science Foundation, Strobel and colleagues have also discovered that certain organisms within plants, called endophytes, have the ability to make diesel-like fuels. Endophytes are microorganisms, bacteria, fungi, that live within the living tissue of a plant. One hydrocarbon producing fungus comes from the Omo tree of Patagonia. Another is a citrus fungus from Florida. Okay, but Strobel and engineer Eric Boo showed us how they make the diesel-like fuel, putting the citrus fungus in what they call a paleobiosphere. The basic idea is to mimic and simulate all the important parameters from an ancient forest. Uh, water circulation, air circulation, into you know, something that we can use in the laboratory. You see the fungal growth in there as it has started to decay the leaf material. It takes Mother Nature tens of millions of years to turn organic material into fuel. Strobel and Booth can make a small amount in three weeks using the paleobiosphere. And the fuel is the real thing. We can tell that if the hydrocarbons made today are identical to the ones made then. The fungus does not require sugar, starch, corn to grow. It'll grow on leaves a given amount of plant material. Strobel says the long-term goal is to improve the process of using microbes that degrade plant material, especially agricultural waste, to make economically feasible quantities of hydrocarbons. Here's the flame. That's totally uh, fungal biodiesel that runs that. In addition to fuel and medicine, Strobel says these fungal products could also be useful in plastics and green chemicals, all from a little end of fight. That's music to the ears of this plant pioneer. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.